This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Audible and my awesome announcey voice. Well, how's it going there? It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo and welcome to What's the Apps. I am a movie guy. No, I'm not, but I do like watching movies. Today, we're going to be checking out an application that can stream movies right from your computer onto your iOS device. And this guy is called VLC Streamer. Mmm. You heard me right, VLC, that awesome video playing application with the traffic cone icon. Look, there it is! Not too sure if this application is directly related to VLC, but it's equally as epic. In a nutshell, VLC Streamer streams movies from your compi onto your iOS thingy over Wi-Fi. Granted, if you had a Netflix account, you can just stream content right onto your iPhone or iPad. But as a Canadian, I must say that our Netflix selection is pretty bad. I mean, it's a little insulting that I'm paying, what, 10 bucks a month for stuff like Dora the Explorer or 1990 for documentaries about whales and stuff. Although whales are pretty cool, I must say. No, scratch that. Whales are cool. Anyways, VLC Streamer also comes in handy if you don't want to use up all of your internets. Kind of a big deal here in Canada because, you know, our data and our bandwidth is capped, but that, that, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Moving on. You just browse to where you store all of your movies, select it, choose the quality you want, and BAM! We're off. You might be thinking, well, where did you get all them movies from? Pirate of the Caribbean? 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 Scandalous. Nowadays, a lot of movies come with digital copies, which in theory is handy, but I've, I've never done it. I'm, I've tried, but the process is just stupidly complex. I feel like ripping them has always been the best, as I can play them whenever I want to without having to pop in the DVD. It's definitely annoying if you're marathoning Harry Potter or something, and you just gotta keep on popping in and taking out the DVDs, which I did because I just had a Harry Potter marathon and I haven't ripped any of these guys yet. But speaking of Harry Potter, a big downside of this application is that you can't stream DVDs loaded onto your computer. I don't blame it though, as it does seem a little complicated. I mean, just look at these file names. Jeez. Another quirk is that if you've loaded the movie for the very first time, you can't really fast forward it. It's got a buffer and render, but I've never really had a problem with it just letting it play. Something that impressed the heck out of me with this application would be that it's synced between your iOS devices thanks to the desktop client. By that, I mean if you load up a movie with your iPhone, you'll be able to see it in your iPad's list. And oh yeah, PS, full iPhone and iPad support and all of the buffering and rendering and stuff happens on the desktop. So if you load up everything ahead of time, you won't need to wait to watch your favorite scenes. Oh, Guido, my goodness, I love Guido. Say! You can also change the quality of the streams, although you really won't need to over a strong Wi-Fi connection. Oh my goodness, look at that. Happy Gilmore don't look too happy right now. La la la, so cheesy. Speaking of Happy Gilmore, Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from, to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, dramas, comedy, business, history, and more. Personally, I think audiobooks are pretty cool. For me, when I'm doing work or whatever on my computer, I like playing an audiobook in the background so it's like I'm reading indirectly. So all the info and all the content sinks in, but I can pay attention and do something else. And it makes me feel good about myself because, you know, it's reading related and I don't read. I mean, I can read, just, just choose not to read. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno, that's T-E-C-H-N-O, to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up. That's right, free audiobook download when you sign up and when you go to this pretty little URL I have right now floating on the screen like this, oh yes. Anyways, back to the review. Overall, this application is amazing and very, very convenient. According to their FAQ, some movies might give you problems depending on how you rip your DVD or how you acquire your movie. Scandalous. So for just $1.99, this thing is a steal. And that's why I'd be giving it a 4 out of 5. So if you're a movie person like myself or if you're a pirate of the Caribbean fan, be sure to pick up VLC Streamer. It's pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. And I'll see you guys next time. Johnny Depp, so wonderful.